Welcome to New Orleans, the heart of Louisiana and the soul of the South. A one-of-a-kind destination for the athletes of the 2024 National Veterans Wheelchair Games. My name is Staff Sergeant Pierre Sturgis, United States Marines. Um, in 2021, I suffered from a leg injury from a gunshot wound, uh, which I had to make a decision to get my leg amputated. During that year, I was in a dark place trying to figure out how I could find passion in life again. And then I came to Orlando VA, where my prosthesis helped me out with open arms. But not only that, I was able to find basketball through my adaptive sports coordinator, where they introduced me to wheelchair basketball. Every veteran here embraced me with open arms. From individuals that were Vietnam veterans, all the way to individuals that were in Operation Enduring Freedom. I knew that it was the place that I needed to be because the camaraderie was there. But not only that, it was also the competition. Knowing that each one of these individuals are willing to wake up every day, come here, live their life, be athletic, and compete with their fellow service members, that was something that I always knew that as a community I wouldn't be a part of. It's that competitive nature that we have amongst each other that allows us to keep striving forward, to live a healthy lifestyle. But not only that, it allows us to have a, have a bond. That camaraderie really allowed me to push forward and build connections with every veteran that's here. So now I'm here in 2024 at the National Veterans Wheelchair Games, making a difference, continuing to live my life, and continue to embrace adaptive sports. Go! At the National Veterans Wheelchair Games, veterans are not defined by their challenges, but by their spirit and determination. In 2009, I joined the Air Force some months before I turned 35, which was a huge accomplishment for me. I started getting all these symptoms and wasn't sure what was going on. And about a month and a half later, after going through the clinicals and stuff through the clinic, um, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. When I got to Walter Reed, my neurologist there, she sat on the bed for over four hours just talking to me about what MS was and what my life was going to be like. and just, um, which made a huge, huge impact on me. My recovery care coordinator got a hold of me and she got me introduced to adaptive sports. It makes me feel like I'm worth something. I fell in love with archery and air rifle and I have my own competition bow and my own competition rifle. And I tried to do events to, you know, keep up and one day hope to go to the Paralympics. These events have changed my life forever. This is a whole new world of friendship and camaraderie. It's a brother-sister love, and everyone stands behind you and keeps you going. Um, 
I don't, I really don't know where I would be without the PBA and the VA with the Adaptive Sports. Thank you and God bless.